post-quantum cryptographic standards, the expansion of the IBM business automation portfolio, and IBM's inclusion in three recent analyst reports, all on this episode of IBM Tech Now. What's up, y'all? My name is Ian, and I am back to bring you the latest and greatest news and announcements about IBM technology. Start things off this week, let's talk about how you can protect yourself from attacks by quantum computers in the future. And now I know it sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but I'm talking about quantum safe cryptography. Back in July, the US National Institute of Standards and Technology selected the first group of cryptographic tools that are designed to withstand attacks posed by quantum computers that will be created in the future. The four selected cryptographic algorithms will become part of NIST's post-quantum cryptographic standard, and IBM was involved in the development of three of the four standards. The algorithms are designed for two main tasks, public key encapsulation and digital signatures. Now, it would take a lot more time, and I'd probably need a few more degrees to completely explain these cryptographic tasks here. But to just focus on the basics of one, digital signatures are used for identity authentication and non-repudiation. Now, adopting quantum-safe cryptography at scale will be a decades-long process, but the new schemes are entering the market in different products and services offered by IBM and others. In particular, the Crypto Express 8S hardware security module, which is available as a feature of the Z16 platform, allows application developers to use the new quantum-safe algorithms. This means that you can generate Crystal's dilithium digital signatures with Z16. So, all that to say, IBM Z16 positions you to begin using quantum-safe cryptography along with classical cryptography as you start modernizing existing applications and building new ones. To learn more about this fascinating topic, check out the link I've got in the description of this post. Next up, IBM is expanding its business automation portfolio to include two new open source offerings, IBM Process Automation Manager Open Edition and IBM Decision Manager Open Edition. These offerings, which were previously delivered by Red Hat, complement our current low-code, no-code platform to address IT-centric, build-your-own use cases. They allow us to deliver intelligent business automation capabilities for workflow and decision management that meet the needs of all kinds of organizations. We're really excited about these offerings because they provide a great opportunity to extend our long-standing commitment to open source. To learn more about these new offerings, hit the link below. To wrap things up today, I'm proud to announce that IBM was named a leader in three recent analyst reports that evaluate RPA and intelligent automation service providers. These types of analyst reports can help potential customers compare and evaluate providers as they look to adopt intelligent automation solutions. And based on the extensive work we've been doing in the field, it's no coincidence that IBM was named a leader in all three. The three reports are the Forrester Wave for robotic process automation services, IDC Marketscape, Worldwide Intelligent Automation Services 2022 Vendor Assessment, and Everest Group's Intelligent Process Automation Solution Provider Compendium 2022. To see some of the report highlights or download the whole thing, check out the link below. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of IBM Tech Now. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've covered, make sure you explore the links in the description of this video. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in tech now.